Hello everyone, my name is Adam or Epos Fox, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to chroma key some green screen footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. In this video, I will be using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. However, this will work as far back as at least CS4 and in the new CC Creative Cloud versions as well. For the purposes of this video, Anthony aka Spitfire has provided us with a lovely green screen clip of him being goofy in front of his green screen with his fancy new webcam. So we will be using this, a clip of this, to do our tutorial. You will need Adobe Premiere Pro. You will need green screen footage. You will also need some sort of background or you can just use the black space to put behind your footage. To start, we're gonna drag our background into video one so it's on the very bottom layer so that it shows up after we green screen out Anthony. Now I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna change the motion effects on it to make it fill the whole screen here so we don't have any black bars. Just an epic Legends of Zelda landscape there. And I'm gonna drag my green screen clip here onto video track two above the background. I'm gonna cut it to about 30 seconds here. Now here we have Anthony dancing in front of the green screen that we're going to chroma key out. And chroma keying in Premiere actually isn't all that bad. So go over here to the effects tab and if you don't have the effects tab then you're going to need to hit window and effects and that will pull it up somewhere. It may just pop it up in a new window here. Let's go down past your presets to video effects and then the keying folder and the easiest and simplest way to do it and get a decent result is just simply the chroma key effect. Drag that onto your video clip here in the timeline. Now it should pop up your effects control tab with your options for the chroma key. If this is not showing, hit window and effect controls and it should pop it up for you and just place that window wherever you want. Now you have a few different options here for the chroma key, but you only need to mess with a couple. The most important one obviously is color. So we're gonna click the eyedropper and drag it just anywhere on his green screen background. You want an area that has the most color like it. And so this light area seems to have the most like it. So we're just gonna kind of click here. And as you can see, it only took out a few pixels worth. Well, that's where this similarity option comes in. So we're gonna hit the drop down and open up the slider and we can play with the slider. Now you can see if you drag the slider all the way up to 100, you just completely cut off his shirt because the blue is somewhat similar on a very strange scale to the green. And so now we just have Anthony's head and hands dancing on top of the background, which could of course turn into something funny, but that's not our intention here. We are going to instead put it to a reasonable amount. I believe it's about 50% here for this clip. You, you want to find a balance between not having green showing and not cutting off his shirt and fading him out. And that appears to be around 60% actually. And so if we play this through, he's green screened out, but his shirt is not being cut out. Now we can turn this up a little bit more for some of the motion areas, but then we start cutting into him. Now, based on your clip and lighting setup, you may need to play with the blend threshold and cutoff options here. Blending affects how much your source footage blends in with the background. We're going to turn it up just a tiny bit because there's still green in the bottom there. Take that out, but not enough to fade him out too much. And then threshold and cutoff will do a variety of different things based on how your screen's set up. Threshold is basically like the darkness and lightness of your background you can adjust that however you like although of course if you want your background to be crystal clear you don't want too dark with the threshold going and then you can turn on smoothing for your edges which honestly doesn't do a huge effect in Premiere and that's pretty much it you have a very basic green screen cutout of Anthony over top his background now on the off chance for whatever reason you want to preview your cut out you can see this right here you can see there's still some you can click mask only it'll show you just what's being cut out so you can see it's starting to fade into his shirt here with these darker pixels and then down here you can see there's still some green showing 
but overall, it looks pretty good. Now, if you want a more precise, better looking, and advanced way to green screen without getting the green edges and to make it look a bit nicer, that would re require Adobe After Effects as well, which I'm going to show you in the second part of this tutorial. I do hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope this was helpful. As always, thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you in part two. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to contribute to our Patreon campaign. To watch another video, click on one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. See you next time.